My claim, my claim today is the convicting and trying of juvenile, juvenile offenders as adults is wrong and unfair. By unfair, I mean it's a socially accepted that a child is not mature enough to watch rated R movies, go to strip clubs, and work a full-time job. However, according to the American judicial system, a child is mature enough to commit a murder and be tried as an adult. There's obviously something flawed with this system that works in this manner. First, I would like to cite the specific rights of the child adopted by the United Nations. Um, according to Article 37 um, of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of a Child, it is stated, no child shall be subjected to torture or other cruel, inhumane, or degrading treatment or punishment, neither capital punishment or life in prison without possibility of release shall be imposed on the offenses of persons below the age of 18. This treaty was ratified by every member of the UN except for the United States, which means that the rest of the world agrees that children aren't the same as adults, but for some reason the United States has a hard time adopting this idea. Second, I would like to point out that in recent studies held by a neuroscientist program at Stanford University, it has been found that frontal lobe of the brain which manages logic has not yet begun to develop until the age of 12. Therefore, neurologically, ad adolescents are incapable of fully understanding the instant gratifications of their actions. Our system deals with the intensity of the crime, the effects of the victim, and the threat of society when, when instead they should be focused on the inner thought process and the motivations of the juvenile. Lastly, I'm going to present to you statistics that show the increase of juvenile offenders being tried as adults. Statistics from the Bureau of Justice um, reported that in 1985, more than 3,400 juveniles were tried as adults, and in 1997, 7,400, more than doubling it. It seems as though it, they are quick to punish and not so quick on discovering the roots of the problem. In conclusion, of juveniles' mental process and not, um, processes are not cognitively or biologically equal to that of an adult. Therefore, they should not be tried or punished as adults for crimes committed before they are able to fully comprehend the actions which they have done. Um, and more importantly, being able to realize the impact it will have on themselves and the lives of their victims. Thank you.